Good morning. Okay, so we have more curriculum to look at. <laughs> I know we went a little bit insane this year. Normally, I am all about getting new um, history curriculum. This year, it's actually a lot of science curriculum. So I, I don't know if I was frustrated with not doing as much science this past year as I really wanted to, um, or frustrated with the curriculum we were using. We were using primarily the good and the beautiful, which is great. It's lovely curriculum, but it, it was very table-based. It wasn't as, you know, read aloud based and we needed something different. We needed to change. And I'm perfectly excited to, <laughs> perfectly happy to, perfectly excited to, go and get something new and different if I think it's gonna keep them engaged. Because I'm not always thinking about my daughter, I'm also thinking about my husband who is the primary homeschooling parent. I'm just the lady over here that helps out and buys curriculum. No, um, I, I do probably do, you know, between one and four hours with my daughter on homeschool stuff. Um, more on the weekends and at night. Um, but yeah, anyways, and, about, and by one in four hours, I mean a day. So I, I'm not totally backseat, but they do a lot more together. Um, so you, if you saw my other video on science curriculum for the upcoming 2022-2023 homeschool year, um, you know that we are doing science in the series um, and right now they're working their way through science in the ancient world um, and they're making good progress through it so i think they're on like lesson 20 and i don't have it in front of me but i have a different one in front of me so i'm now like okay well how many lessons are even in this thing um out of 90. So they're making good progress for having just started that. Um, our goal is to have finished that by the start of the next CC year. Um, and I'm kind of hoping that we can also get into some of these. Again, I'm not expecting us to get through all of these in a year. Um, the science in the series, I'm only looking to go through the two of them. So science in the ancient world. And I think the next one is, is it science of the age of reason or science in the scientific revolution. I think it's in the scientific revolution. That's the next one. Yeah. So I'm hoping that she'll get through that as well over the next year, but because it's kind of a history-based science and she really loves history and she loves history relabs, I wanted to kind of go in, go all in on that. So we also got a few other things. So for instance, we got Memoria Press um, exploring the history of medicine. So there's the textbook and the um, teacher guide. So if you know about the way that we do Memoria Press, um, they, they usually have a textbook, a teacher guide, and a student guide or a student workbook. And because she's dyslexic and very young, um, she's eight years old, we go through these and we do whatever is interesting to her and interesting to us, regardless of her age level. Um, but we modify it by doing it verbally. So we don't even need the student texts, the not student texts, the student workbooks, because honestly, we just ask her questions and she answers them orally. And that's good enough for us. We don't need to show a lot of documented proof of her science stuff. Um, the way we do language arts and math and things like that. I don't think the government cares much. So <laughs> I'd rather her just know the information. Um, so exploring the history of medicine. I'm really looking forward to that. And then da -da 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 -da. the other one I was looking forward to for this year 
which I don't seem to have the, oh, here it is. Okay. The other set I was looking forward to is um, exploring the world of mathematics. And again, we've got the textbook and the teacher guide, which has the questions, the answers. <laughs> Um, so I'm looking forward to doing that. So we'll have a science-based curriculum that is taught through the lens of history and we'll have um, a, this is somehow science, the science curriculum about the world of mathematics and the world of medicine, but also history. So a lot of kind of commingling of subjects for our science this year. And I'm hoping that since these are very text heavy, that it'll be a lot of our reading out loud and asking questions. And I think that'll really help. So this kind of goes, so this is the world of mathematics and counting the years, counting the hours, muddled measuring, measuring by metric, practical mathematics, the Greek way with math, um, names for numbers, number patterns, endless numbers, math for scientists, pure and applied math, computing machines, bits, bytes, math on vacation. So it, it is kind of going chronologically, it looks like. We haven't really gotten into it super heavy, but yeah, so like at the beginning of the book, they're talking about the Roman calendar, the Julian calendar, and then by the end, they're talking about computers. So it is going somewhat chronologically which I like the idea of doing math and science and everything chronologically through history. That, that seems like it's going to be really cool. And it seems like, you know, that's a really cool thing um, to do with cycle two for classical conversations, which is kind of in the middle ages. So you can start, you know, kind of in the ancient world and get to the modern world and that just kind of feels like it should flow really well. So I have, high hopes for science this year. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.